Apparently the fire started around 4 o'clock on that Thursday afternoon and um, supposedly it was caused by kids that's still under investigation. It's a criminal investigation right now. A friend of mine who also happens to be an employee here at, at the Cove, um, he's a cook, uh, his house burned down and he didn't even realize it had been burned down because he was busy helping us here keep the flames away from, from, the, from the facility. And um, uh, he basically lost everything. He's staying with some relatives in town. And um, having seen the devastation out there, it, it's crazy how this fire, you know, literally destroyed an, an entire neighborhood. It looks like an atomic bomb went off. But then there's other parts where the fire went around houses and those houses were completely untouched. The Erskine Creek uh, fire relief efforts have been pretty incredible in the last week. Um, immediately the community came together. I mean, people that weren't even friends just doing everything they can to help each other out, whether it was with food or clothing or, you know, monetary donations. Um, all the churches up here, the First Baptist Church faith community, um, all coming together to help people out. Um, American Red Cross came in and when the fire started, it started behind um, the Vaughn's Shopping Center in Lake Isabella. And then because the wind was so bad, it just went over the mountain behind Vaughn's, which, which is the mountain, Cook's Peak is what they call it. And there's a radio uh, radio tower up there that got knocked down. And then from Cook's Peak, it went down into Mountain Mesa, Squirrel Valley. That's where I was when it was getting really bad. And it continued to spread east into the town of South Lake. And South Lake is the town that got hit the worst. Um, the final count, I think, was over 250 homes that got destroyed. And so that's a few thousand people up here that immediately went, went homeless. Dangerous. Hectic films is dangerous. <laughs>